Hello everyone, Kate here. Today's video is how to make an at-home gallery wall. I've seen many gallery walls being made all over Pinterest and Tumblr and Twitter and Instagram and everything like that, but normally they're kind of expensive and require you to go out to the store or to order things online. So I wanted to make one that you can make everything all at home for very cheap. So let's get to the video. So the first thing I did was I put out all my pictures that I wanted to add and I picked my favorite ones and the ones that I really wanted to add to my board. And just as a little tip, make sure to grab different size pictures, both landscape and portrait, because if you don't, you won't have as much freedom on where to put the pictures and how it will look. is to add more variety to your gallery wall. And what I did was I googled an Aztec elephant and looked for one in black and white that I could color. And I just think that they're so cool. And I personally can't really draw like that in depth, but it's super easy to just color in. And for me, drawing is very therapeutic. So I just printed it out and then just took my colored pencils and drew it. And it was a win-win. This is also extremely cheap and compared to a lot of things that you might have to buy online, it's totally worth it. For the next piece of artwork, you will need templates for circles or really any shape, paper, and markers. For this next art piece, you will need a template, and by the way, I did not buy this template, I had it at my home. I'm not sure if you guys have it, but um, if you don't have it, you could also just find different things around your house that are in the shape of a circle, like maybe a nail polish or just markers or anything, but I had this template, and basically you just make all different types of circles, and it's super easy, and you don't really need any art skills. And then because a piece of paper with circles on it isn't very exciting, I googled K for my initial K, um, and then I just blew it up on my computer screen and made little dots where the cor corners were. Then with the dots in place, I just drew a line with a pencil and connected them. Then I just cut out the K that I traced and voila, you're done. You have a creative initial. And you can do it for your last name, your first name, you can do it for all your initials. Then I took everything that I wanted to put in the gallery wall and started to plan out where I wanted to put it. And I was struggling a bit on which picture to put where or where I should put the elephant or the K. So I definitely recommend going on Pinterest or at least Googling some examples or templates of gallery walls. It really helped just sort of plan out where I should put the pictures and artwork. Then when I finally found where I wanted everything to go, I just adjusted everything, cut things if I needed to, and started to tape things to the wall. I used um, like painter's tape because I knew it wouldn't stick to the wall as much, and later I will go on and use more secure tape or maybe even glue it if you want, but it's definitely good to use painter's tape first because it's very adjustable, and if something happens, you can just rip it right off. 
You can also add any other decorations or outline the K. Do whatever you want, it's totally free. And then just go over it with any more tape that you want and then you're done. And honestly this came out a lot better than I expected to and it was super easy and fun so I really hope that you enjoyed. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and that you can make your own gallery wall because I think they look super awesome. And also make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below what you thought of the video. See you next time. Bye!